One of the most important features and functions that you'll use in Photoshop is the Layers palette. I have a photo open here, and here's my Layers palette. This is showing me that I have one picture open and one layer. It's the background layer. That means I haven't got any additional information in this image. If I was to choose the paintbrush tool, and I'll choose blue, if I paint on that layer, you can see a blue line here. I'll just draw another one so you can see here. There it is reflected there. I'm going to change colours. I'm going to choose red, click OK, and paint on top of that. And again, you can see it reflected here. I've got the red paint on the blue, which is on top of this photo. Here's my Move tool. If I try and move these layers, it says I can't. I need to convert it to a layer. So I'm going to undo this. Now normally, Control z is undo, but in Photoshop, alt Control z is undo because each time I press alt Control z it undoes one thing at a time and now I'm back to where I was. Now, this time I'm, I'm going to paint on this photo again, but I'm going to do it on a separate layer. Now think of layers as clear sheets laid, stacked on top of each other on top of this picture. And I can then, of course, move those sheets around. Here's my new layer tool here. When I click it, I'm now on this layer. And when I draw with my paintbrush tool on this layer, exactly the same thing, you can see there, and I'll make a new layer, and I'll change colours, and I'll choose blue, and now there's my other line. Blue is above the red, so blue is above the red. I can move these individually because they're on separate layers. If I put the red on top of the blue or the blue under the red, now the red's on top because the red's on top here. I can delete these by selecting it and hitting delete on the keyboard, or I can just drag this entire layer into the bin. You don't usually paint on top of a picture. What we're more likely to do is to add elements from other pictures into my picture. There's a couple of ways we can do this. I'm going to open a bird. And here it is here. There was my last picture and here's my bird. They're completely separate pictures. They're not on the same layer or anything like that. And now I'll open another picture as well and I'll open this dove. So I've got three pictures open. The simplest way to get this bird into this picture is to select this bird and under the select tool, select all of it and you can just see some little running ants around the edge here. And now if I copy that, I'm going to click back here and I'm going to paste. And there's that bird. It's a separate layer, so I can move it and put it where I like. I'm going to put two birds on this page, so I'm going to rename this layer, double click. I'm going to call it bird R for right and press enter. Now, the same as just about every program I can think of. If I resize in the bottom right hand corner, I can get this out of proportion. I'll undo that. If I hold the shift key down, it stays in proportion. Pop him over there. Because I've changed it, I need to tell Photoshop to accept those changes. Now I can click this tick, or I could double click the picture, or I could press enter. I'll click the tick. 
So there's that bird. Now, I need to put this other dove, I'm finished with this bird, so I'll close it. I need to put this other dove into this picture as well. 